our new homie in 2268 war daddy chats he how you doing man <laughs> good i'm doing awesome man so the count that we're looking at has 216 million power and 22.7 billion kp kind of crazy let's go ahead and go to the more info page where we got where we got 114 million deads and 7.7 yeah. .7 k defeats can we take a look at your kp breakdown real quick so yeah it's pretty much a one to two t4 to t5 ratio so it's, it's a pretty good ratio that you got going on in terms of kp but yeah, I guess we could go into the resources here. You don't have, really have too many resources on hand, but... Yeah, my, my bag, I get into my bag pretty good. The VIP is stupid. I mean, we got to do something with this VIP. Um, the uh, resources, I got I to gotta kind of scale these up. Um, so it's... Uh, I don't have a problem. What, what happens is I, I'll, I'll, I'll get enough RSS for fighting and then something goes wrong where... You know, I didn't get enough of something and I just start opening tokens. I don't I don't care. Whatever. It's just make sure you got plenty to fight. So I don't I don't hoard a bunch of tokens. Um, I do have a pretty good amount with spending, but from there it's just not it's not that crazy. Speeds are okay. Now I I, I powered up to about 136, 14, I'm sorry, 236 or 240 last KVK, fighting 960. So I'm just replenishing this stuff and then now ah, this is coming along. It needs I I like to get this the 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 one hour speed ups up around 15 or 20,000 before KVK, making sure I've got enough to to go fight. When I when I tallied up the uh, the mats, I'm sitting at like 200, you know, legendary materials. I got some things I got to do and I got to show you what my plan is, but it's OK. I mean, you just got to ramp it up pretty good. So a little look at your a little sneak peek at your gear here. My the amount of fits is crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was I think like 67 pieces and then 60 or 59 um crits so it works out okay i got these token things um so there's some spinning stuff and all this uh so yeah no it works out items are good how many gold heads do you have uh, if i may ask i think i've got let's just go to somebody here i think it's um 800 and something 873 so we're, we're ready to fire off on the next cab commander so we'll, we'll see how that works i guess now we could take a look at your pairs like what are the seven marches what are, what are the pairs that you use typically for kvk typically i'll <clears throat> i like the the zuge herman uh i run i run two infantry and this is how i like to run them with um with you know luce and alex i like luce and alex i typically run three calves with five marches at the beginning of kvk and i'm I, i'm more of a cab guy um you know, I'll uh, I'll run the proverbial Hua William, and then I'll run Nevsky Joan. Um, but then, you know, depending on what else goes on, I'll have I'll have like a Justinian. Um, I, we X Y Justinian's fine. X Y, I just I'm so over him. I mean, he's he's so long in the tooth now. But you know, being able to get Justinian on the field for swarming is great. He is he is uber uber talented with the swarming. Boudica with Ash. And Ash is so good, and so that's what I like to do for my second Archer March, and then of course my my second Infantry March will will you know this is the one I kind of always start out with or Luce with CPO, and then I'll 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 split up Luce and CPO to run two and put put Guan in there, and so Guan Guan still provides the silence utility and everything, so it's a it's a big deal. I guess we could take a look at the gear on your commanders now since we know what the pairs are. Let, let's take a look at the gear and the armaments. Yeah, so so this is this is kind of the um this is kind of the rally gear, if you will. Um so I've got I've got some ways to kind of get this ring up to, to level four, and that's the main thing for players who are trying to develop accounts for rallies and garrisons. You know, getting your awakening to level four, getting the all damage is is big on your accessories. I actually found that the um the spear at level five gives a little bit more um than the sacred dominion at at level at level two now i've got a i got once i i get another kvk coin i can get this to four and then that'll be you know you, when you're adding damage to troops on the map especially in a garrison um you're adding four percent four percent all damage um that's that's big but this this is typically what i use for the for the uh for the rallies um when i'm doing it with with nevsky um and so you know with let me see with attila i 
think I would use more of this um, when we were doing kind of the Attila Garrison. I've got the, the Greatest Glory to level four here. Oh um, <laughs> this is crazy. So I'm just looking at the glowing, like <laughs> level five, all crits. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not exactly, it's, it's dubious because you're not exactly too proud of it because it takes a stupid amount of investment to do. But it's, um, that's, yeah, that's, I went calves and I've always kind of been calves and that's the first calf set and then second calf set. I'll, I'll, I'll switch that out and move that over to the first one, the, the, uh, Sacred Dominion. So, um, that works out pretty good. And then my third calf set, I just throw on Mina for, for forts. And so I haven't had enough crystals to, to go awaken all these yet, but I can go do that soon. I, yeah, I was always a, a an infantry you know, when Pakal came out, I ran Pakal like crazy. And so I, I've got, outside of the KVK stuff, I've got, I've got, I've always focused some infantry. And uh, obviously with Luce and Gorgo, um, I run a Gorgo garrison as well. I'm a cat player, but I, I run the Gorgo garrison as well. And so I've got most of the stuff to level five and, and, and it works out. So that's kind of my first infantry set. Yeah, I think it's really interesting seeing um you know the investment level of the iconics in my opinion because you know it's the newest thing they added to equipment and uh your iconics are pretty high level compared to uh i mean it's comparable to you know peace and uh fluffy where you got iconic level mm -hmm. five of you know the helmet the, the chest the, the weapon the, the pants and you know like it's pretty crazy how much uh investment like what, how, what do you invest usually in equipment to have equipment at this level well if i was if i was just gonna do more fielding then i would get all of my all of my boots on every single march i would get to level four um and that's what you know i'm doing some account reviews with some of the guys in 2268 that are more field players and the the extra march speed um that you get on just about any pair of boots anywhere um is same thing here you're getting six and a half percent march speed if you've got something critted and then i've got my other set for for my other um infantry march and so kind of my goal was to have you know seven credit sets uh, you know i got there but then i realized i wanted to run three calves and so i've got eight sets um so the the archers same thing here i would i've never really been an archer garrison or rally but i would love to um you know they're so much fun and they, they they've got so many combinations right now to lay down so much damage so um that's first archer set the second one's on boudica um again i'm kind of stuck without having enough iconics so you know i always like to keep the iconic i might spread them out when we actually kvk fight in the field but when you're on canyon you just put everything on one march and, and go have fun with that and then and then this is the part that makes you want to throw up um <clears throat> so i went down the, <laughs> i went down this rabbit hole God, just over a year ago. Um, it might've been further than that. And it was just such a, I mean, it was just such a beating. I, I, I probably threw up like five times going through it. Um, and because now it's just not really serviceable. Um, you know, you got to specialize this for infantry and, and I can still run Trajan in the field. Um, and you know, uh, Chisco kind of always ran the Trajan CPO so it wouldn't trade so bad and it would actually trade okay. But from the standpoint, if you're gonna run Trajan and you're gonna run them with Mulan or you're gonna run them with something like an Ethel or something to help your murder ball, it's not gonna trade. It's just not. So it's almost like you just don't ever look at that trade. Just look at the other marches you have because that, that's what that's what gets enhanced. But this is actually a little bit serviceable because I'll, I'll throw all this stuff on Hera um, if I'm just doing a mixed troop garrison. And so it, it, it works out okay. The shield, the coin is great for Hera and I'll probably just put in a, you know, uh, a horn or a ring with that so that's that's kind of how i use this gear yeah i think uh, a lot of people were blindsided by the new implementation of leadership gear it's like oh my goodness now what do we do with this set i think uh, we saw that with uh, peacemaker and Fluffy as well so <laughs> you're not the only one in this uh old leadership set uh <laughs> hole i guess Let's look at the uh, the armament. Okay, so this is this is where things get kind of crazy. Um, oh my the... goodness! Damn, <laughs> that's four, four. You got all. Wait, there's only four uh, legendary armaments in in uh, per formation, though. So yeah, we yeah, have all so, four of them. 
so all four i've got a, i got a double one here and this it, it doesn't make much sense on nevsky um just because you know this one's straight to the point three and a half percent normal attack boost or normal damage boost is great uh to get to proc a 20 percent normal damage which is great but then it's going to give you a 10 percent reduction in skill damage so i just i don't run that for canyon but i, I just put it on nevsky just to kind of show you what i'll well i'll uh rally and garrison with um when it comes to using Attila and some of these things. And, you know, what happened, and the reason why I've got Arch, because it's not just Nevsky. I mean, this is, I've got three more pieces over here on my infantry. So this is great for Gorgo, right? Um, being able to have these uh, these normal attack boosts and all that, and then having the, I think, for this one, I've even got the even keeled, which is a good, really good one, uh, if you can't get the, uh, the straight to the point on that instrument. So do you have any other like wedge formation armaments or like what are the f seven sets of armaments that you use with these uh these sets? It's it's pretty much these are these are all arts, okay? So you saw kind mm -hmm. of what the the big one I use for Luce and Gorgo. Um that's arch. Well, I mean my second <clears throat> my second cavalry set is arch but it's just it's just purely stats, right? We're just going purely stats, but it, arch does nothing for Huo. Um and then and the same thing with with my archers i mean it's just I, i've got this um i that that's great for <laughs> for, for luce what am i supposed to do with that but so all the stuff i've got is is centered around arch uh this is like kind of my my second infantry arch set um it's it, there's some synergies there i got i've got phalanx and you can get a shield from cpo and and so that that works out pretty good and so um you know there 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 are there are different things that it does and my second archer set you know that's that's what i'm dealing with i've got arch you know the stats and so, on these are crazy though my goodness yeah, and that's i mean hey hey don't you know you you can run some purple stuff up pretty high uh you know that's this is over nine percent of stats with the shielded mm -hmm. so there's there's some things you can still do with purple stuff but that's that's it's basically outside of you know luce and like attila rallies and things like that you can't you're not getting much benefit with anybody else so i started messing around and here's i think here's my third cavalry arch set so i mean it's just i've got so many armaments for arch arch sets uh but then i started working on a little bit of you know a little bit of wedge so this um, is just starting wait you even have decent wedge armaments as well for uh this is a pretty good cav uh wedge <laughs> set right here it is i got it but but if you're really going to be at the level i think that the rally and garrisons are i mean you got to have hunter i mean you got to have some of those wedge special talents i mean these things over here yeah. i mean hunter and where's balance balance is another one that's just stupid i mean you got to have that stuff if you're really going to rally uh with skill damage commanders so but i am working on it so here's i've got some arch archer stuff for wedge oh that goodness. works out pretty good and then I've got some infantry stuff for Wedge. Eventually, I'll put this on, on you know, Guan and run Guan CPO with this. So, you know, um, it's, it's... How much do you invest into armaments? Because all those sets were, were crazy. Like, they were dude, all you don't, really, really you good. You don't want to know. I, I've thrown up, you know, looking at the numbers <laughs> of what I've, what I've literally invested. I, I maxed out everything for a year. Alrighty, so that should be it for the commanders. Do you have any city skins that are that are interesting, or like what city skins do you use in the open field? Uh, I see you. Well, already, I see you have the saga of the longship already. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I, I've got a few um, since I since I'll garrison with Gorgo. Um, I snaked this one in twenty six oh five at the end. I think I think the zenith of, at rank ten was sitting at like eighteen million. So I just. You know, I just snaked that at the very end to grab it. Uh, mm -hmm. Why not? And uh, this is the one I use for rallies and garrisons. I, I've got the 15% the health one, but for cavalry, and everybody knows this, between the the gear, the equipment that you get for cavalry and the, the you know, most of the passive skills from cavalry commanders, um, defense is almost as important as health for cavalry. Cavalry yeah. loves defense. They love it. And so I've always kind of stuck to this one that I rally and garrison with, with the Cav defense. Um, you know, I, we've got the Osiris League one that's got some training speed. Um, oh, you guys did get the training speed skin. Wow. Uh, and back in my Pakal days, I used to run the hell out of this one um, with the infantry health. Um, and so that's, yeah. 
Yeah. And so I think I've got one more that's an archer one. I, I can't even remember which one it was. I think you could sort um, it by legendary if uh Oh there you go. Or no you can't, maybe special? Special? Maybe. No, I don't think so. No. You should be able to sort it by legendary. Lilith, if you're watching. <laughs> figure that figure that one out. Please. Um but this one is you know, since since I I don't add my second archer march to my seven to my murder ball, if you will, until I get to seven marches. I only run the one archer. So this is this was like perfect for me. Mm -hmm. um, the dynastic 8% uh, ultra defense um, would have been fine, but it just peels off so many, so many cat stats and infantry stats that this was perfect because it's like, okay, I have one march that's going to get, you know, my archer march for one march when I have five or six is going to get 10% defense taken away but all my marches get 12 percent attack so and then the, the action point recoveries i mean this is kind of busted i mean it's kind of dumb especially if you're a cap player or, or an infantry player this is a really good one for field and just to really have on all the time